Hello Zebra Herd, welcome back to Plants vs. Zombies 2. Today, we are continuing with Ice Bloom's year end season with the second tournament of the season, which is going to be the Cold Snapdragon tournament. Along with it, Cold Snapdragon is the featured plant of the week. I've already showcased him, so be sure to go check out that episode where I played Cold Snapdragon if you wanna see more details on him. We're just gonna hop right into the action and see how this goes, of course. Of course, I think Cold Snapdragon is very fun. We did some strategies with him the last episode or the last time we did the Ice Bloom's first tournament. Um, yeah, so let's get to it, see how this goes, and hope for the best. Um, so I guess that means Ice Bloom's not gonna be featured, it's just gonna be the Cold Snapdragon. But to be honest with you, in terms of strategy, I think it's gonna be about the same. I mean, depending on what zombies are given to us, sure, but if I reload this, okay, it's giving me something different here, but that's because of the, uh, the showcase and whatever we last did. What was it? Holly Barrier, that's what we last did. So I need to scroll through and find all of the frosty cold plants um, and just sort of evaluate what I might wanna keep, what I might not wanna keep, all that kind of stuff. So I definitely wanna do the winter mint and the ice bloom, sort of work with that a little bit. This time around, something that is different though to keep in mind, sunflowers are actually allowed. So I might wanna take a pass on winter melon for right now Maybe, maybe not. I'm gonna try this, we'll see how it works. I'm gonna do that. And then, where is enlightenment? So this might work out, it might not, but I wanna try it, just because we haven't done this strategy in a little bit where we earn up a lot of sun real fast. And yeah, we'll see how it goes. So, for right now, I would like to sort of go for it and see how things go before we try like a free to play strategy, just so I can sort of get a good idea of everything to expect. I think that'll be just about good, because one thing to keep in mind is that there was something that was uh, bruised, but I think it was explosion plants. Can't quite remember, but at least this time there's no gravestones in the way. Wow, we're getting a gargantua right away. Um, not what I was expecting. I also never put any sun shrooms out, so I'm doing the strategy wrong to begin with. Um, something to keep in mind is that I'm messing everything up and then I'm being really silly. So if things don't go well this round, it's not the end of the world. We know we can already do better than this. Okay, uh, but we are in Iron League, I think, uh, now. We, of course, went up a league from last episode, or last battles episode. Okay, get that there. Yeah, right now, things aren't going so well, so I might end up doing a bit of that. Yeah, definitely, I should have thought, th thought this through a little bit more. Live and learn. But it seems like, you know, one thing they do is give a Gargantua right off the bat. Boom, that's gonna at least freeze everybody a bit. That'll be good and then Snapdragon, cold Snapdragon back this way. Hopefully, he can do some stuff. Uh, put that there. Keep working on this for as long as we can. The cold mint is almost available again, and I'm hoping that things turn out okay with it. Hmm. Okay. Uh, you need to click more sun to plant. I know, I didn't even, that was weird. Uh, yeah, let's get that there. So he's frozen. That was great, actually, that worked out pretty well. Because I guess he just got attacked by the uh, snow, the snow pea so much he just ended up getting frozen. I didn't even realize that was sort of a thing that could happen. Okay, sorry, my cat was running around everyone to make sure everything was okay. There we go. Let's do that. And let's put down the Winterman. So far, so good. Like, we're keeping up with the competition. The competition isn't so crazy. Oh no. We gotta get rid of that uh, roller skater up there then for sure. Cause this is looking a little scary. Right now the only problem is that there just isn't very many snow plants. And that's sort of, or not snow plants, sorry. Uh, there's not very many zombies coming in and I think that's because of the snow plants slowing them down. And that's something you guys sort of supported in my idea was that it might not just be worth it to just have frozen plants, but to have some kind of also a thing to team up with it. And we're trying to think like, okay, what could that be? There's lots of options. We need to see what's, what's what's bruised in this. You know, we have the buffed cold. What is the bruised element? I'm not really entirely sure. But so far, not so bad. Definitely things are starting to pick up a little bit. We have 25 seconds left, so I think I'm gonna go for this. Um, and then, you know, you beat that up, which is sort of a problem, but I think we can make it work. And then we will just go and do this again right now. And just keep at it, get some more sun. I'm gonna use that on the ice bloom over this way, get some extra stuff going on, just like that, no problem. 
I think I could definitely move the cool Snapdragons a little bit more to the right, but even then, 276,000 points isn't spectacular, but it's a decent start, and we got a clear win over the competition. It looks like we have a win streak. We are continuing getting us some pinatas for what? Who knows? Uh, Primal Potato Mine and... Kali power, nice, okay, I'll take it. So our first round done, it was at least successful. Yeah, we're in the Iron League, because there's the Iron League bundle. So what do we want to do here then? Um, I'm trying to think through like our different options, how we want to tackle it. And I'm thinking that maybe, well, let me see what the, the bruises are, because I'm pretty sure it's explosion, but I want to make extra sure. We don't have gravestones to worry about anyways, so. I do think it was good to have the extra sun because that honestly has been, yeah, so explosions are bruised. What are some other things that I have that might be damaging that aren't that? I'm thinking like we could do, at the least we should probably focus on having some better like real estate ideas. Like what I mean by that is use the spaces we're using better. So like I don't know if we need exactly like ice bloom. Like maybe that's just a little bit too much. Instead we could do something like blastberry vine and that way in the background things are still doing damage that way. Because sun isn't falling from the sky all too much in this. And obviously we could just set up sun shrooms, but I don't feel like that's as reliable of an idea. So I think we're gonna go with this. And if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out, we'll try something else. And like maybe after this I will try uh, winter melon. Maybe that would be better. So let's get these guys out here. And then remember, I need to set up sun shrooms. Like I can set up a lot now and then get rid of them later. So if that works, Let's work with it. Get that going on. Because the Gargantua is going to be coming out right away. We know that now from experience. And we are going to be able to really quickly get a lot of sun, start this up, get that there as well. Okay, looking good. It's unfortunate this time because he actually spawned in in front of where um, I put down a cold Snapdragon before he was sorted to the sides of it, so it didn't affect us as much. But I can already feel like this is going a bit better, at least in my opinion. We got rid of that Gargantuar pretty quick, so that definitely seems to back it up. I would love to find a way to squeeze in a Power Lily to this strategy, but I, I honestly don't see how. I mean, even now, we're already out of sun. Right, that just happened so quick. But we're gonna get a lot more as they start producing more, so that's always good. Um, yeah, so get all of that. Get that Blastberry Vine in the background. So far, so good. So yeah, let's see if we can't get closer to 500,000 this time around. That would be good in my opinion. With the Blastberry Vine right there. So we have already two rows of cold Snapdragons almost completed. We just need another one over there. We are starting to run low in sun again, but that's fine because we are also getting to the point where we should have our Enlightenment back up and ready. And that's gonna make us a lot of sun. I'm a bit worried about this Gargantuar coming in. Um, but we should almost, ah, oh, he got him. Darn, that's fine though, that's fine. Get that there, get our final Blastberry Vine in, and then what we're gonna do is put that there, get a bunch of sun, a bunch of it. And even if things don't turn out so well here, I'm about to get this right here. And that should do some wonders. Now I'm immediately gonna use the plant food on it because we are starting running out of time to actually get stuff like that done. Um, and I can keep setting up more Blastberry Vines wherever I really need them. That's sort of the nice thing about them. So let's go ahead and just immediately go back into another one. I feel like that's something we just need to focus on for right now because we have plenty of sun, plenty of sun. There we go. Gargantuars are getting taken out left and right. I think the Blastberry Vine is definitely helping. It'd be cool if one day they add an update to battles that gives you like stats on the individual plants and like really shows you like, hey, this is how many vanquishes this plant got on the zombies. I feel like that would be really useful because then we would just be able to really dive into the details and really figure out, okay, which plants are getting the work done, which ones aren't contributing as much. I mean, obviously you can get that through trial and error as well, but obviously that doesn't lead to as much optimization. Okay, I put a snow pea there by mistake. Didn't really mean to do that. So there's lots going on here. It's really hard to see what's happening, but it looks like we're about to hit half a million. There it goes. It's basically just gargantuars now too. I feel like even with this, there is a bigger punch we can pack. For sure, I think that there's room for improvement here. Um, but there we go, we still got the half a million. I'm happy with it. Okay. 
But I'm wondering, like, what if we just shifted our strategy a little bit and didn't worry so much about the snow pea and tried something a bit more damaging? I'd have to look at the levels of everything and see what truly is more damaging. But I definitely think there's something out there, right? Hmm. But that thing has to also not have fire damage or be explosive. So that does limit our choices a little bit. But now might be the time, at the least, to switch out snow pea for, um the winter melon. And once I do that, technically our strategy is free to play, right? Because we'll have to wait and see. Let me double check before I say that definitively. Uh, if I get rid of Snow Pea, uh, well, Blast Bright Vine. Well, technically he was a reward. So it depends, because it seems like some people define free to play differently than others. Some people define it as what you can only specifically get in the story mode for free. Some people say, you know, it's also included is the things you can earn up for free through battles. So that even includes gem plants are technically free to play. Um, so basically exclusively things that you don't have to pay physical money for. But even then, like you could pay physical money for them and have like it get them even faster. So I don't know. It just seems to change from person to person. But with everything on this list, is something you could have gotten in a previous battle season or the story mode, or is given to you through this tournament, which is the Cold Snapdragon. So at least this is a little bit more free to play, a little bit more accessible for most people watching. So we'll try this out, see how it goes. I'm going to reload that. We're not going to have any winter melons to begin with, but we're going to have so much sun pouring in that it should be fine. I can only hope. So get that down real fast and. We'll see how this goes. So let's get a lot of sun and immediately put this here and then get that there. And the only problem is I feel like the immediate damage, the consistent fire rate might not work out as well. But if we can make that up with just a lot of damage and then send out more melon pulse later on, that wouldn't be too bad of a deal in my opinion. For right now, I'm gonna keep working on getting as much out as I can. But even here you can see I'm sort of running out of sun really fast. Um, okay. Got it. I don't exactly know what to do about this Gargantua right now. This is sort of becoming a problem real quick. Uh, let's keep putting that stuff up there. I think that maybe we'll just reload and let that do its thing. Keep slowing him down with some sun shrooms at the least. That could work. Got it. But he's still just kicking right now. So maybe this just won't work as well. It's a bit concerning, but it's definitely possible. Okay, so we did get him there finally. Oh, he was a tough one though. Tough customer. Okay, a lot more sun is being made finally from the sun shrooms. They just sort of wanted to take their time. But you know what? We're about to get the enlightenment out anyway. So hopefully that can do something. There we go. And that should grow the rest of them and hopefully help us uh, just get as much stuff out here as we can. There we go, there we go, there we go. Okay. Get that there, get this here as well, and then boom, boom. And then we can start replacing some of the sun shrooms with winter melons, because obviously, why wouldn't we? There we go. So we're doing okay with the score so far, hopefully as we stack up more of these guys more and more. Like maybe Blastberry Vine just isn't worth it, I really don't know, maybe the extra damage just doesn't go far enough. Maybe if he was higher leveled, he's literally level one. So that definitely doesn't change too much. Just got rid of a cold snapdragon over there. I do not appreciate that. Uh, get another one set up. We'll use another blast bright vine for now and see how that goes. Come on. He's throwing an imp in, which honestly really messes up the melon pulse. Okay, so we're totally out of sun again and we're also totally out of plant food. So this is sort of it <laughs> for now. We still have 25 seconds remaining. We might be able to get another enlightenment in that time. But it's gonna be sort of down to the line. Cause there's only an occasional piece of sun falling from the sky, and of course our sun shrooms are doing what they can, but that's only so much. It's only so much. Okay, get that there. Keep going, we're at eight seconds remaining, so this score was most certainly worse than the other, which was the snow pea. So like, just replacing this, I think it's the lack of fire rate that's just not really doing it for us. So I really do think that our best strategy will be having the cold snapdragons out and then having something that'll do some additional extra damage, but it has to be hard hitting. We do get 20 experience for the cold snapdragon, which will that get him a level up? Uh, let's find out. Not quite, <laughs> not even close. So we'll have to keep working on that, but in the meantime, let's figure out our strategy and see what we can do next. This is a weird strategy that I have no clue if it's gonna work or not, but it's, it's mostly just mints. Um, 
I mean, a lot of people have been saying that the winter mint's not even that great. So maybe we could try something a little less wintry focused and just do that. And then if I'm going to do that, I might as well do this as well. This is weirdly becoming a catapult strategy. I don't know why. I just, I like the apple mortar a lot. I haven't played them as much in uh, battles as I'd like. Oh, let's dig you up a little bit. I want you to be here, here, and here. And then the only problem is he's so darn expensive. <laughs> So expensive, so it might just be smarter to do this for now. Yeah, sure. Do that, let's rock, and the moment I have the chance to, I need to slam down the enlightenment. And that's gonna make another one, so we gotta go, go, go. Uh, so this is gonna be a bit more concerning, but I think it could work, for real. Um, so there's that, there's this. Slow him down as much as possible. Keep going with it. And now with him getting slower, he's actually like getting frozen in place. Well, I guess the Apple Mortar is sort of doing that too. Okay, yeah. Is that something he normally does? I forget. <laughs> it's been a while. Uh, there we go. And right now I'm just gonna focus on the Apple Mortar first and foremost, but we could make some things work here for sure. Sure, this is where it becomes a bit problematic. You do have some of the, uh, the ladies with the umbrellas are a bit of a concern, aren't they? They just gets bounced right off. Um, Something to keep in mind, but that's just one type of plant that hopefully will be done away with with the cold snapdragons, and that's why it's good to have variety. So the question is now, what do I get out? What do I use the plant food for? I'm thinking, you know, we should be able to keep most of our sun shrooms safe, I would hope, but you never know. Okay, not bad, actually. Not bad at all. Get that there. Now we're starting to keep them back. Things are starting to pick up in terms of momentum, I think. Get that there. Okay, so far so good. Okay, lots of sun coming in from the sun room. So hopefully I do not have to worry about uh, using the enlightenment or the plant food on the enlightenment. Doesn't look like I do. I mean, this is sincerely less expensive than say the melon or the winter melon. So that's at least good. <laughs> it's going, oh my gosh, is this going well. Okay, I mean the score though, the score. How is the score doing? It's sort of doing meh. I think that could use some improvements. So let's go ahead and get another one of these out. Just like that. And now we're sort of, we're not maxed out on them, but we're getting pretty crowded with Apple Mortars. And I feel like we're just, we're slowly starting to make progress with the score then. But it could still be better. Okay, where else can I put a Blastberry Vine? I can put one right there. Blastberry Vines seem to take longer to restore than the Apple Mortars. But I might be wrong with that. Okay, there is just stuff happening everywhere. Visually, this is a mess. But, hey, that's fine. About 171, like I feel like we're doing better, but the numbers say otherwise, it's weird. Um, Keep it going. There's just so many gargantuars and they're so hard to beat up. So difficult, but we still have 30 seconds left, so we can't give up just yet. Get that set up, just get more cold snapdragons out, more apple mortars, because we still have plenty of sun to go. Okay. Get that there, get this here, sure, why not? There we go, there we go, got it. Another cold snapdragon wherever I can plop them down. Come on, eight seconds remaining, but our score is starting to go up, up, up. But will it be enough? Uh, <laughs> not really, <laughs> it's the same. So, more or less the same is, uh, you know? And obviously that's because it's, it's not buffed, but I just, I, I feel like there's more I could do here that doesn't have anything to do with the frost damage. Like obviously have Cold Snapdragon out, let him do the thing, slow the zombies down. But beyond that, I feel like there is more we can do here. I'm like thinking about like maybe we should go with, uh, what is it called? Um, Bowling Bulb. Bowling Bulb and Tile Turnip. Like maybe that would be better. It could be, it definitely could be with how much sun we made there. Maybe we should try that out. Honestly, I'm just willing to throw anything at the wall and see what sticks, you know? So let's get rid of those two and then we're gonna get the bowling bulb from that and then tile turnip, which is somewhere around here. I think I passed him. Yep, here he is, tile turnip. Let's try this out. I don't need this though. Hmm, and that means I can bring the winter mint back if I wanted to. Let's try it. Or maybe I should've done the power lily. Oh, the power lily would have been better. Okay, live and learn. Let's get these three things out. Actually, I might want to put them a little bit back. If the gargantua is the first thing we need to deal with, we need to give them as much time as possible to take damage, so. There we go. 
and as per usual will bombard everything else with sunshrooms as far as the eye can see. Got it? So, he did start in front of the, the cold snapdragons this time, which is a bit of a problem, but we'll make this work by just doing this for now and hope that that will be enough as well. Okay, get more sunshrooms out and work on the tile turnips as soon as possible. Just like that. A little concerned about how many of these jumping zombies we got right away. Um, not gonna be able to do much about those guys at the moment. Uh, like really not gonna be able to do much about them. Wow, okay, they are taking some stuff for right now. <laughs> Let's do this. I mean, at least it'll affect two of them. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, that cleared out the board quite a lot. That's great, actually. Okay, get that going on. Get this here, slow these guys down a little bit and just keep working on this for now then. If it's what I got, it's what I got. Okay, so enlightenment is coming up sooner or later. In the meantime, I'm trying to wait for the going to get rough before we start using this plant food. And that's where I really probably should have done Power Lily, you know? Because with Power Lily, we could have made things go even better for sure, in a number of different ways. We could have just activated these guys more often. We could have ended up, uh, there we go. And that almost gets me up to the next tile turnip. There it is. So with this, I think that now might be an okay time. I don't know. We're gonna get a lot of sun back. And then also I can do this. Maybe that's a little bit overdoing it though because there's just not enough zombies around. There we go. We now have enough sun that every single one of the bowling bulbs is covered. But the problem now, and this is why I was like, the power lily is gonna be the key to this, um, is that we only have one plant food left. We can try this again. Our score though is just not where it needs to be to be doing this so soon in, because we have like a minute left. And even then our score went up, but it just isn't where it needs to be. It's just such a weird situation, like for sure, no matter what. Weird situation, because these guys do not have the damage to hold off all these zombies on their own like this. It needs to be with the plant food. So I'll try this again with plant food, but for right now, well, you might as well see what kind of score we can get in these last couple of moments. It's not gonna be much, but it could be something decent, I guess. Uh, if we could get the 300,000 here, I doubt that, but if we could, that'd be pretty cool. Get that there, slow these guys down a bit. We might be able to get like one last mint going on, but that only does so much. Without the plant food, can't expect too much. Keep going, keep going, put that there. Get this here, cause sure, why not? There's whatever we can throw down in the last few moments. So yeah, 255, that's about what we're running away with here. Oh wow. So let's try again. We did win though, I mean, that's a good thing. Seems like we're very fortunate with the lower league we're in with how hard I'm having a, how, having a hard time keeping up, but we do get a win streak done. That's gonna be four pinatas for us. Very cool. So 10 experience for the Gold Bloom, 10 for the Wasabi Whip, 10 for the Primal Pea Shooter, and 10 for the Chomper. Very cool indeed. But the thing is, is that like right now we have not found anything that defeats the strategy with just Snow Peas. And like, that's great that the Snow Pea works, but I, I, I feel like there is better. I just haven't found it. Kiwi Beast, Escape Root, Electric Pea Shooter, Iceberg Lettuce, Electric Blueberry, Peanut, Power Lily, Torchwood, Snow Pea, and Toadstool. Oh, and there's more. Squash, Pea Pod, Moonflower, Cactus, it just keeps going. Nightshade gets a level up. Collie Power, Melon Pult, Shrinking Violet. That's just, I felt like a lot more than 20. <laughs> But we're getting there, we're definitely getting more and more points and hopefully we can unlock some major experience for the Ice Bloom sooner or later. Let's keep at it. The one strategy change I'm doing this time is the Power Lily instead of the whatever else I had. There was something. Uh, It was something, I, just, I guess the Cold Mint, right? Yeah? Yeah. So. Power Lily should be around here, I think. Yeah, I think I missed it. Hmm. There it is. Okay, so let's see how this goes. Hopefully this will be better. Right now though, I think it'll be fine to uh, do this. It always gives you one sun, so it's always important to like quickly refresh that. 
and we'll see how this goes. It might not turn out so well at first, especially since he did unfortunately set up in front of our Snapdragons. But I'm just gonna keep at it for now and see how this goes. Yeah, get that there. And we just like won't be able to do very much damage to him. He's gonna get rid of some stuff. That's sort of the unfortunate reality of it at the moment. But I could try some plant food now and just sort of go for it. Okay. Uh, and that was okay, but definitely not the best. Okay, lots of sun coming in. We finally got rid of him. And this is where things sort of ca catch up a little bit. Definitely with the, the umbrella people. They, uh... We don't have to worry about them as much as we did when we were using a lot of catapult plants is all. Okay, so we have a power lily, which is great. Get that going. And then let's use some plant food now. But that definitely just sort of changes things up. For the better, for sure. It's just we can only use it so many times throughout a, the course of the battles, but even one or two extra times is gonna make a big difference in my opinion. Get this there. Um, get an enlightenment out whenever it's ready. Got it. Okay, time for more plant food then. Or not, um, yeah, we're using plant food, I mean. Okay, so that's gonna bounce some stuff everywhere, but I feel like, yeah, these guys sort of stayed together for whatever reason, somehow. Come on now. I would like, yeah, more zombies to get taken down before I use my next set of plant food, but we have the full row now, which is pretty important. I feel like at this point, I'm just gonna go all in on cold snapdragons, and this was probably mistimed, but we'll try it because now everybody else is gonna start firing in, and that clears out so many zombies so quickly, but will it be enough? Power Lily's ready then. Go ahead and get that. We might be able to do that one more time before everything is over. Let's find out. Okay, let's quickly use a plant food against you because you're storming in here whether I want you to or not. And now everybody else is gonna join in on the fun, and the score goes up, but not as much as I need it to. All right, well, I'm definitely trying, but it just seems like the cold strategy I had is the best I could find. And I'm sure there's something out there, but then these guys go and eat my my stuff and that doesn't work very well, does it? Okay, come on, just a little bit more. We got a couple of seconds left, but I don't know if we're gonna actually get the uh, power lily in that time, so yeah. I don't know why I dug that up. I thought it was gonna be, give me sun back, but that doesn't work in battles. Okay, enlightenment. And three, two, one, everything is over. So 300,000, it's okay, I'm winning. But I do think that there's a strategy out there that incorporates the snow with other things that's gonna be amazing. And I'm sure you guys have found it and it's the most obvious thing that I just haven't noticed. <laughs> because that usually happens. But anyways, I think we're gonna finish it off with that. That was a lot of fun. I'm gonna go and do the uh, daily pinata thing and hope that that turns out well. Hopefully we get a couple of thousand coins from that because it's always good when that happens. I desperately need more coins, so yeah, we'll try it out. Hope for the best. So, Zebra Strip to the pinata party. This one has a minecart, ooh, fancy. Oh, I guess we're supposed to use a sap trap on it. We'll find out. And a spike weed. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have used a sap trap there. I'm not really sure. I was gonna let these build up a little bit. A guacodile, huh? Uh, trying to formulate a strategy here. It's, it's a little odd. Let's slow this guy down. Get another guacodile there as well. I'd rather them not get to the guacodiles. I mean, obviously we wanna slow them down while they're on the spike weed. This is interesting so far. <laughs> I can say that much. So boomerangs, guacodiles, sap flings, spike weeds, definitely an uncommon combo if I've ever seen one. There we go. I guess we'll set up more boomerangs in the background. Oh boy. I mean, at the worst, you know, they just activate the guacodiles and the guacodiles go through and eat everybody. But I'd rather that not happen. There we go, one spike weed per lane now. I got this plant food out. I could sap some people even more. We'll just have to be careful. Uh, get that there for sure. Be careful, the guacodiles. 
Just gotta be aware if one of those goes off. That we are ready for it. To at least ready to replace it. Okay, last Guacodile goes on down there. We're actually beating up these Bucketheads without too much of an issue. Okay, that Guacodile went off. We we'll get another one in return. Put this here real quick. Get another Spike Weed here, sure. Because of course the Gargantor is beating those up. Uh, what do we want to do here then? I could just bring him back. He thought you got away from the sap. You never get away from the sap. It stains your clothes, it's just awful. There we go. There we go. Come on. I could try the Guacodile here. I thought, honestly, I wanna try the plant food on the sap trap. Or the sap fling. Sap trap is from Battle for Naperville. Okay, there we go. We finally got that Gargantuar. Another one took his place up this way. So let's get that going on. Actually, there's another Gargantuar right here too. Go ahead and beat him up with some smaller Guacodiles made from the bigger Guacodile. This is a bit of a mess. Actually, I don't know how this is gonna turn out. A tad bit worried. There we go, we got him. Good stuff, good stuff. Now try to beat up this imp a little bit. And hopefully, that will all be enough. Let's speed it up. Come on, we can get him. Okay, that's looking good. Got it. <laughs> so, pinata party completed. Be a, we're able to beat everybody up. And we have some different presents to choose from. I'm gonna choose this one, that one, and that one. Got some experience for the mistletoe, experience for Southling, and some coins. All right, well, I'm glad to have gotten it. With that being said, definitely let me know your thoughts and strategies on this tournament for this for this sort of week, you know, for the last couple of days, the uh, Cold Snapdragon tournament. Next episode will be the Cold Snapdragon Boosterama. That'll definitely be interesting. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Plants vs. Zombies 2. Before you go, be sure to comment Cold Zebra so you watch the end of the you are a Zebratastic viewer. Also, subscribe to join the Zebra Herd. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.